Okay, you take these sediments, you push, and what happens? Right, there you go. That's, that's uh, a folded rock, okay? The limestones underneath get pushed up here, here, there you go. That arch, that's a big fold, okay? Older rocks surrounded by younger rocks. That's the story, it's not that complicated. Simple picture, layer cake, stratigraphy, gets pushed in, scrunched up, and then what happens? Well, what happens then, starting at about 65 million years, 66, all these red things come in. These are intrusive bodies, magmas, liquid magma comes up. All right, then we start getting our deposits. And importantly, these magmas come up into an extensional zones. If you think of having a bottle of that honey in the little plastic bear, right? You don't cut the top off and you sit there squeezing that honey bottle all day long and it's not gonna go anywhere. What do you have to do? You gotta cut the top off, it has to have space to go. That, take that, extrapolate it to big scale. This is what's going on. These things have to have space, some opening to come up into. So the combination of rocks sliding past, opening up these spaces, this is giving us a systematic repetition of ore deposits throughout the region, okay? That's why it's a mining district. That's, if we understand that, we can apply that and find more, all right? That's the goal, that's the goal. So I wanna get even bigger. Big things, make big deposits, make big regional plays like Carlin Trent, okay? Well, why is this big? I believe it's big because what's going on here in southern Mexico, obviously U.S. southern Mexico, okay? These faults, I believe, represent the major transverse faults that you see in the oceanic plates. When you have these plates pushing under the continent, these are major faults coming in off the ocean, right? Major ones. These things are dragging on the crust above. I believe they're, they're breaking the crust above. These types of controls not only apply to the Guerrero Gold Belt, they apply to the Marlin deposit in Guatemala, they apply to Gold Resource Corporation deposits in Oaxaca, okay? This is big stuff. This is why we're seeing a lot of gold mineralization, specifically in the Guerrero Gold Belt, but it's a big regional thing. That's why we can, that's one of the reasons we can expect to find more. If you want to impress your friends, say alkalic, okay? Alkalic, all right? What alkalic means, it's a fancy word, geochemical classification, who cares? But there's a simple way that it looks like that you can see, that I can see. I can walk into the field and go, oh, look at that. Very interesting. And you'll see it in five minutes. What does it mean? Rich in biotite, right? You're a kid, you go to the beach, there's granites, you say, mommy, what's that shiny black stuff in the sand, right? Okay, not, not, <laughs> not oil, hopefully. Um, it's biotite, it's a mica, it's the mica, you break it out of the rock, you hold it up, you can see through it. It's very, very pretty. This is what it's like in reality. This, all this chemical stuff translates into here, granodiorite porphyry from Minorum Gold's Welco Dostino project. All these little black specks you see, okay? Little biotite, little perfectly formed crystals of biotite, beautiful. That makes these rocks alkalic. They're unusually rich in biotite. Another important characteristic of these intrusions. The closest association between gold mineralization and intrusive rocks is this rock with gold mineralization. Okay, you want to find this. You see this from Mochitlan, you see it in Los Filos, you see it at Limon. Uh, from the little bit of the core I've seen it at, at, at New Strike, you see it up there at Anapaula as well. When you get close to these rocks, you're in the right neighborhood. That's what you want to see. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up and I won't punish you with any more geology for a moment. The intrusive rocks fresh, they start to get more altered, scarn. Then they get that potassium, potassic alteration, very sexy in the porphyry, porphyry world, right? We've got it here in spades, lots of potassic alteration, which involves the first introduction of gold, just like in porphyry systems. Moving on, you get intense, typically you get intense retrograde clay or alteration. Here's the hard, we call retrograde, meaning late, cooler. And this is core, high-grade core from Los Filos. This is toothpaste rock. This, it looks like this coming out of the drill hole, all right? This is drilled out, this is mineralized. This is what it looks like in the field where it hasn't yet been drilled. This is why we're applying what we know, looking for more. This is at uh, Menorum Gold's Welcos del Destino project about 20 kilometers distant to the southeast. This is the same exact type of porphyry where you oxides clay, all right? We're identifying drill targets, we'll be drilling this. This is what you wanna see.